for artwork, we like to use art that comes from official sources like magazines or um, special release posters, things like that, directly from the anime studio because it avoids problems with uh, artists and whatnot. And since we give the prizes away for free, absolutely free, uh, there's not a problem with uh, use of licensed materials. To do the two kinds of ornaments that we give away, um, you'll need the ornaments themselves. The heart-shaped ones we got from Etsy.com and the round, more Christmassy type ornaments we got from Amazon. I will put links to uh, each of these in the dialog box below. Uh, you'll need scissors, um, either a box cutter or X-Acto knife for really precise cuts, uh, a palette knife, very small, and a paste and a um, varnish. Uh, the 207 is a paste gel-like substance and the varnish both come from a company called Nova Color. NovaColorPaint.com is their website and we will put the links below. But you can also use any kind of paint or varnish that you can get easily at your craft store. I didn't mention it earlier, but it, it's worth mentioning now. Um, you also need to pull this stuff off a ruler and a pencil along with all the rest of the stuff. Uh, when you choose your artwork, make sure that it is print resolution that is 150 DPI or better. 300 would be great, but at least 150 DPI, otherwise the, the artwork is going to come out blurry or pixelated. Um, you measure your, um, your blanks carefully, both uh, width and height, and also diagonally. And then you size your artwork accordingly in Photoshop, print it out, and then what I do is I trace the artwork with a pencil um, before I actually try to cut it out. Um, I use scissors, but if you're really steady-handed, um, an X-Acto knife or a box cutter works even better. Okay, to glue down the um, artwork to your blank, um, what I do is take some glue and then spread it out with a palette knife. The palette knife is better than the finger because then the artwork isn't sticking to your fingers and to the blank and to the placemat and everything else. And very thin coat of the glue to figure out where to fit the palette knife. center to make sure it's flat. And then you let this completely dry before you do the next side. Okay, I have now put artwork on each side of the blank, as you can see. And once these, uh, the artwork is soaked with the uh, paste, it becomes really easy to just punch through the hole. Uh, on each of them and leave a pretty pretty clean hole left behind for string or or um, Christmas tree wire or however you want to do it. Next step is the varnish and that again is a, do one side at a time 
and use a very, very light touch. This varnish dries clear. See this? Brush in even strokes so you don't get too many lines. And you do oops, the whole thing. And don't worry, you can always punch the varnish out once it's dried. It acts kind of like paste does. So you do one side, let it dry completely, and then do the other. And then Okay, and that's it. I'm um, not sure if this is visible, but each side has a very nice gloss to it, and the artwork is thoroughly sealed onto the ornament. Um, you can put a string or a ribbon to attach it to anything you like, uh, or hang it in your room or on your purse or whatever. And that's it. Um, that's all it takes to make these. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you don't want to wait for the varnish to dry, a hair dryer set on low dries it pretty quickly, at least the brand that, that we used for this. Thank you uh, for your interest, and hopefully we'll do more of these later. Bye!